Hey guys, Solo Jones here, bringing you another Besiege build tutorial. Do you love catapults? Do you take pleasure in the screams of your enemies as a bomb flies through the sky towards them, spelling out their inevitable doom? Of course you do, but you are smart. You've noticed lately that those other catapults just aren't cutting it. You have high ambitions. What if you want to blow up more than one castle? Introducing the Reloadable Mobile Catapult, also known as the Bomb Cat. All credit for this design goes to Reddit and YouTube user Blard Mode, who gave me permission to use his build for this tutorial. You can find a link to his original showcase video in the description. Time to build this baby. We're going to start off by making a basic U shape, 5 blocks high and 7 blocks wide. Next, we need two 6 block long horizontal beams connected to the joints on our U. Destroy the first block on your beam and replace it with a metal brace. These will help keep the vehicle light and strong. Now in the blocks tab, find the hinge tool. Place a hinge on the first block of each beam. Using the double block tool, place two more beams on top of the existing ones. Time for some basic catapult functionality. Using the retractable spring tool in the mechanical tab, attach your beams to your U-frame. The basic mechanics for a catapult are now in place, but as you can see, it's not very effective. Before we worry about making it a better weapon, let's get this thing mobile. Add a pair of motor wheels to the base of the U-frame and to the back of our bottom horizontal beams. Add two non-powered wheels between the motor wheels on each side. Our catapult is going to drive like a tank. This allows for better maneuverability for more precise aiming. To make this happen, we need to keybind our wheels. We're going to use our numpad to steer. For the two wheels on the right, bind forwards to 8 and reverse to 5. On the left, bind forwards to 9 and reverse to 6. The two sides of your catapult will now control independently, allowing you to turn on a dime. So now we have a mobile machine that's really good at breaking itself. Let's try to prevent this. Under the mechanical tab, find the suspension tool. We're going to add one of these to each of our beams to cushion the impact that it has on the U-frame. Notice how weirdly lopsided our vehicle is? It's time to connect those beams in the back using braces. Now it's time to connect the two top beams to form a launch platform. You can only place objects on existing beams. We're going to place this temporary cross beam here to give us something to build our launch platform on. Now, go into the flying tab and find the ballast block. Place the ballast in the back middle of your craft, one block behind the end of your beams, and one block below the beams attached to the hinges. Then delete the temporary beam. Next, connect metal braces from the end of your hinge beams to the side of your ballast. Now to make our bomb basket. Attach wooden panels to the sides and back of the ballast. Rotate them until they're pointing upward using the R key. Now that's looking more like a catapult. But it still has problems. Now it's time to break physics a little. Link braces from the end of your bottom beam to the top of your U-brace. Yes, the metal braces are going right through the wood beam, but it's a video game. Well, there's the simple catapult. Time for the hard part. Let's take a look underneath our final product. Yes, it looks complicated, but don't be afraid. I'm here for you. Find the steering hinge tool in the blocks tab, and place one in the middle front, in the middle of your U-frame. Make sure it's set to rotate backwards and forwards. You can rotate it using the R key. Attach a single wooden block to each side of the steering hinge. Congratulations, your catapult can now wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Extend your wiggle beam towards the back by four more blocks. Four blocks from the front, add a small three block wide horizontal beam. Find the suspension tool again. Add a pair of suspension blocks to the bottom of our new beam. Using braces, attach the two suspension blocks to each other and then to the sides of the vehicle. Now delete the top horizontal beam. In the mechanical tab, find the grabber tool. Place one of these on every other space on the top beam. In every space you don't have a grabber, place a vertical single square block. In the spaces next to the grabber, we want to fill the area with another couple of beams. Mm -hmm. 
Secure these beams together using braces. Almost done! Look at that thing wiggle. It's time to place our bombs. Because we can't place them on nothing, and we can't place them directly into the grabbers, we're going to have to create another temporary support. Create a horizontal beam in the air, four blocks high. Now place your bombs. Make sure they're directly above the grabbers. You can delete the temporary support now. When you hit play, the bomb should snap directly into the grabbers. If it explodes, you did it wrong. Now for the finishing touches. Put wooden panels all along the side of the grabbers to keep the bombs from rolling off. And one more on the end to give the bomb a gradual rolling platform. Now hit play. Using the arrow keys, tilt the bomb platform back slightly before you hit V to release the bombs from the grabbers. If you tilt it correctly, they'll roll back nice and slowly in into the basket. You can launch it now and reload again by pressing V. And that's it. You've done it. It was a long build process, but we've got a really cool end result. Be sure to think of me when you're blasting enemies to dust. Thanks for watching guys, and if you enjoyed this, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. A special thanks again to Blarg Mode for letting us use his design. If you have a design that you'd want featured in a tutorial like this, go ahead and send me a YouTube, Reddit message, or leave a comment below.